Hello YouTube, Cooper Lesmere and welcome to my uh, English 2006 World Cup um, squad and the 2010 one, eventually when I get onto it. Right, I'm going to start by putting in the manager. I've got an English manager, a Pedro, I didn't, oh I used a formation card on him, just to make sure, you know, boost the chemistry a little. So we got 10 chemistry already. I didn't get Fabio Capello because I didn't think he was like, essential. Alright, I'll put a keeper in. We have Robinson. If you watched the 2006 World Cup, then you could try and like guess the players what I'm putting in. Like some of them you probably won't get because I I haven't like got a right right back. We're gonna have one of my favourite defenders in the game. He well in the world even. I'm not just on about FIFA. And another one of my favourite defenders in the world. Well, it used to be is Wayne Bridge. Okay, right, yeah, see. 24 chemistry already, um, centre backs. Gonna have one of England's main centre backs at the time, I think, was Jamie Carragher. Yeah, there he is. Uh, I mean, he ain't got too much, like, he ain't got very good pace, but his defending and heading is good. But everything else lets him down a little. Our other centre back is gonna be a centre defensive mid, who is Owen Hargreaves. <laughs> and, yeah, see, look, we. They all link up perfectly over to every lot. I mean, Ashley Cole and Wayne Bridge. Ashley Cole, you know, you got your pace. He's pretty pacey, so pushing out, good pass in to like push up to a right midfielder, or strikers, whoever. <coughs> Not too bad head in. So yeah, left mid. We have Stuart Downing. I can't remember him playing in the World Cup, but he it says that he did on what I was looking at. He's pretty pacey, I mean, you got your pacey left mid, speedy, whatever. He's got decent shooting, decent passing, good dribbling. I mean, it's defending and dribbling, and it defending and heading isn't that good, but that doesn't really matter for a left mid. Centre mid, we have England's star, number seven, David Beckham. I wanted to get his in form, but, I mean, for the price, it wasn't, like, much of an upgrade. I mean, he's probably be best for his passing. Um, and his free kicks, obviously, if you know that. Um, our other centre mid is going to be a centre attacking mid. One of my favourite midfielders at the time was Ashley Cole. No, oh god, one more about Joe Cole. I always get them mixed up. Add, right, right mid. We have Aaron Lennon. I mean, you got a pace on him, pace and dribbling. Good for pushing up, obviously. I mean, it's just, I love Aaron Lennon. So good. Right, our strikers. Strikers are Michael Owen and our other one you might guess, well you probably won't guess because, hold on where is he, Crouch there we go, Peter Crouch, I mean yeah I I didn't get, um, I couldn't get Rain Rooney because I'm not a very rich player, <laughs> I couldn't get Lampard or Gerrard, I would probably have them in my team somewhere, um, Ferdinand and Terry I would have probably had as my centre backs but I couldn't get them either because I didn't have that much money at the moment. I, um, Phil Neville, another, oh Phil Neville and Saul Campbell, two other defenders, but I mean they're retired now so I couldn't get them either. Um, but yeah, we got 100 chemistry that, and they, they all pretty much link up alright. I mean if I didn't have, oh an, another one, my subs now, right. they all link up right yeah, um, search. Uh, silver, hold on. David James, sir, goalkeeper sub, plays for Bristol City, one, one of my home teams, sort of. Um, nationality, hold on, we'll go find England quickly. Uh, England, there we go, search. <coughs> Michael Carrick, or, yeah, I think his name's Michael Carrick, <laughs> or he was not then. A bit of a knob, aren't I? Um, yeah, he's a good, uh, Good replacement for Beckham or Joe Cole. I wouldn't really put him out on the wings because he ain't got very good pace. But he is an all-round good player. Because I mean, look, he got 73 dribbling, 72 shooting, 78 defence, 83 passing, and 73 heading. So he's an all-round like target man. Our second sub is going to be another target man. He's got all-round decent stats. Is Jermaine G Jermaine Genus, that's the name I think. Uh, look, all of his stats are about 70, so he's a really good. General player. I add. 
Um, I'm sure there was someone else. Yeah, oh yeah, Fear Walcott, that's the one. I think, that, yeah, that's our only four subs. Fear Walcott is a good replacement for Aaron Lennon. Or you could have him up front because I know he did play up front in 2006 for the, in the World Cup. You just look at the pace on him. Don't see why you wouldn't want to put him on. I mean, you could have Aaron Lennon as the left mid and then Walcott as the right mid because Walcott doesn't really fit into the left mid position. It doesn't like, let him. Uh, he's got the red thingy by his name. Well, red boot thing. Position. Right. That's our, um, that's our 2006 squad. But, uh, I've played with... Uh, I've played with them and a few games with just against my mates and they're really fun to play with. Right. And we'll move on to the two thousand and ten bit. I mean it's gonna be like just add in people from two thousand and ten. Like Jermaine Defoe's our first one. Good pace, good shooting, good dribbling. Decent guy to get the ball to. I mean his passing sorts of lets him down but he's a striker so it don't, don't really matter that much. Um Dawson he's a good replacement for Carragher or Hargreaves that Look at the differences in their stats. I mean, depends what you want. Head in, look. Yeah. <coughs> or, well, obviously Hargreaves' stats are probably much better, but Dawson's more of a defender, which I mean, it's probably pretty good considering that is a defending position. Ledley King, another defender. Another good replacement. I mean, look at the defending and heading on him. It's good. I mean, obviously, his other stats let him down, but defending and heading is what you want in a defence really, unless you want pacey defence to catch up with pacey strikers. Alright, our next sub is going to be Wright Phillips. You get another good replacement for Lennon or Downen. He can play right mid and left mid. Or he can play centre mid, so yeah, he can play it. They, they all can play pretty much anywhere in the midfield. You could have Walcott on the right mid, you could have Lennon middle, no or left. And you could have Wright Phillips in the middle as well. Our next sub is going to be Robert Green. You probably all remember him for his terrible, like, spill, I'll call it. It's probably his handling would probably be much better than that if he didn't let in that silly goal. But, um, well, life goes on. Um, and our last sub is going to be Warnock. Um, he's, a no he's obviously like a sub. He's not as good as what Cole or Bridge look. I mean, Bridge is a silver as well, mind, and he's better than him. Unless you want a pacey left back, but I don't really f see the point in that when you've got a pretty pacey left mid. So I keep him on the bench or on the subs, whatever. Right. Um, I worked out. That's I. Yeah, that's the end of the team. I would have got like John Terry, Rio Ferdinand, um, Wayne Rooney up front. Lampard and Gerrard in the middle probably, but I can't afford them, I'm not a very <laughs> rich player. Um, altogether I worked out this team cost me about 45k, including like the manager and the formation card on him, so if you want to buy one, uh, if you want to buy this team then I strongly suggest it, it's really fun to play with. And like you got your 100 chemistry, so it's not exactly a bad team. I mean like if you got, say you want, I don't know there, look, you got 80 rating, look. I mean, that'd probably be different different if you go on your Xbox or PS3, because I know it's different from the app for some reason. Anyway, that's been Cupellism here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.